right, so good afternoon, everyone. All right, I got a question for you, and this is specifically for Tony. So how many out there wish that you could take a page out of the story of your life and rewrite it? Tony? Uh, right now? Maybe, maybe, maybe delete it. Believe me, this wasn't the worst thing that's ever happened to me. For me, I, you know, I could think of maybe one, two, maybe more. You know, for some people, though, you know, they make a bad decision in their life. And because of that bad decision, it's significant changes, irrevocable changes to their life. And they can't go back and rewrite it. So these are some of the characters of our story today. People that are incarcerated in our local prisons and jails. There's about 2.3 million adults incarcerated in the U.S. Now, it's the highest incarceration rate in the world. In addition to that, there's another 4.8 million adults that are on probation or parole. So it's about 7 million adults that are in the criminal justice system. Now, as sad as that number is, let me introduce you to the main characters of today's story. Children. Children of incarcerated parents, there's about 10 million of them that have parents that are in some form of probation, parole, incarceration in our criminal justice system. They're the ones that are left behind when their parents go to jail. They're the ones that feel separated, isolated. They're the ones whose play dates are suddenly cut off. They're ridiculed in school. And even if they want to see their parents in the prison or jail, those rights are very limited, sometimes even violated. So you may ask, why keep them connected? Why keep a, a parent that's incarcerated connected with their child? Why, don't, why not just trade them in, get new ones? Well, here's what we know. For the parents, parent that maintains that bond with their child, they're less likely to have an incident while they're in prison. When they're released, they're less likely to go back to prison. And they're less likely to violate parole. For the children, we know that the well-being of a child, whether they're at home or at school, is directly connected to the bond between a parent and a child. We also know that if they're connected with their parent while their parent is incarcerated, once the parent gets out, that reunification process is much more successful. And bottom line is studies show that children that are connected with their parents while they're incarcerated are just better off than trading them in for new ones or dissolving that relationship altogether. So, if the key is to be connected, what do we do about it? Here's the heroes of today's story. Local group of volunteers in Ontario County created a program at the jail there called the Storybook Project. And it's one way of maintaining that parent-child relationship while the parent is incarcerated. And they do it through the simplest and most cherished moment between a parent and a child story time. This program is working. It's working for the parents. It's working for the children. It's working for the criminal justice system. And it's working for their community. I'm going to show you a snippet from a documentary that's being produced locally by Load of the Ground Productions and Crystal Picks called Turn the Page. It's a short 10-minute trailer for the film. Um, and what we've discovered is that through producing this film, you know, just showcasing the storybook project, that it's turned into a much bigger story. It's a story about children's rights, their rights to maintain that connection with their parent, and how often times those rights are limited and violated. It's a story about literacy and how the parent-child bond through reading gives a child so much more success in life. It's a story about compassion, about hope, and it's a story that really cries out to communities like ours to say, get involved. 
figure out what's going on in your local prison and jail and do something about it. So let me show you just a little portion of Turn the Page. <laughs> 